the Lord. <clears throat> Destiny is calling, calling you. Destiny is calling and your purpose too. Destiny is calling, waiting just for you. For I know the thoughts that I have concerning you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end, a hopeful future to the point that I have not seen nor ear heard. Neither has it entered in the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him. God has a purpose and God has a plan for our lives. Amen. What must we do is lean not to our own understanding, but trust in the Lord. Trust in the process. Trust him when you cannot trace him. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and in all of your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. You may not understand it, amen, but Grandmama said you'll understand it better by and by, amen. I come to understand and come to know that all things work together to the good of them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. And I thank God for the purpose and the plan of God, amen. Glory be to God. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who Paul said is our life. <clears throat> For in him we live, we move, and we have our being. With him all things are possible. Without him we can do nothing. Therefore we need him. The songwriter said, I need thee every hour. Oh, yes, we need him every hour of the day. Amen. We need him. And the good thing about that is I will, he said, I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. Lo, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the world. Jesus will always be there. David said, I was young, but now am old. Yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. The Lord will take care of us. Amen. Be not dismayed. Whatever betide you, God will take care of you. Amen. No matter what you're going through, he knows just what to do. Amen. To take care of you and I. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank God again for you that have tuned in to this broadcast today. This program goes out to all the sick, to shut in the those in the hospitals and nursing homes, to our bereaved families. Our prayers are with you. Our prayers are for you. We want to pray for this world as a whole. Amen. This We're living in, in what the Bible calls perilous times and Perilous times are dangerous times. Paul talked about perilous times, a time when mankind will become lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. What's sad about that is, amen, it is over into the church. Somebody said leaked over or creeped over, amen. But it's, to me, it's like it done walked right in boldly, amen, right into the church, amen. Well, mankind, mankind love pleasures more than God, amen. They are unthankful, unholy. Amen. Truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. You try your best and still get despised. But be encouraged today to be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you're going to reap if you faint not. Amen. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Hold on. Amen. Your redemption draweth nigh. The devil knows he had but a short time, and he's doing all he can, amen, to seek whom he may devour. He's that thief that come to steal, 
to kill and to destroy. But I heard Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and life more abundantly. We get that life and life more abundantly. Amen. By, amen, inviting him in and allowing him to come in. Amen. And be Lord of our lives. Praise the name of God. Paul said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Amen. Which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that which is good, that which is acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Amen. God want us to give ourselves over to him. John said, I decrease that he may increase. More of him and less of ourselves. Amen. Equals happiness. Equals success. Equals joy. Equals peace. Amen. If anyone would be his disciple, <coughs> Jesus said, let them deny themselves, take up his cross, and follow him. Amen. We must realize that we're no longer our own. We are bought with a price. Amen. We must glorify God in our bodies and in our spirit. Amen. We belong to him. We are his people and we are the sheep of his pasture. He is not just the author. He is the author and finisher of our faith. And amen. Don't get discouraged in the process. He which has begun a good work in you, he will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. You may start small, but do not despise small beginnings. God, amen, is going to bless you. God is going to keep you. Amen. Glory be to God. Let us go to the throne of grace in prayer. I want to pray for those that are sick. I want to pray for those that are having some problems, amen, in their lives, physically, domestically. I pray that the, those that are having problems with their children, and I pray for a turnaround, a turnaround, a change. Hallelujah. Let us pray. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sin and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Lord God, we come once again thanking you for your loving kindness, for your multitude of tender mercies. With bowed heads and humbled hearts, we cast all of our cares upon you, for you care for us. Sometimes the load gets heavy, sometimes the burdens are hard to bear. But Lord, you say, come unto me, all that labor, all that are heavy laden, and that you would give us rest. Take our yoke upon you, learn of you, for you're meek and you're lowly in heart. We can find rest <coughs> to our souls. For your yoke is easy and your burden is light. We come, O oh God, praying, Lord, for salvation. O oh God, across this world and country, I pray that people will come to know you. I pray that, Lord, that you anoint these lips of clay. Oh, God, I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto you. I give over to you. <coughs> I decrease that you may increase, not with excess speech, but in power and in demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, I speak anointing to these, your people. Let the power of God reign on them, till set free and deliver. Lord, according to our faith, be it done unto us. We speak healing. We speak deliverance. We walk therein. Hallelujah. We walk in the light as you are in the light. Help us, God, to let our light shine. Help us, Lord, to be that vessel, oh God, of clay that, that you can use, sanctify, meet for the master's use. Here we are, God. Here we are, just as we are. Use us as an oracle to thee, and we will give your name the honor, all the glory, 
and all the praise belong to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, and thank God. Amen. To the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, we're going to begin reading at verse number 20. 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, we're going to begin reading at verse number 20. There you will find these words recorded. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, <clears throat> that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. <clears throat> I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. <clears throat> and this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that you may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainty, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. We're going to take our context subject from verse 24, amen, of that same chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter, amen, 9, verse 24. That we know ye not that they which run in a race run all. But one receiveth the prize, so run that you may obtain. We want to talk to you from this subject. Amen. Talking about a race, a race that we all can win. I want to put emphasis on that word can, a race that we all can win. When you say the word can, that means there is a possibility. There is an availability that we can all win. <clears throat> In a natural race, amen, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. In a national championship for basketball, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. Alabama versus Auburn, somebody's got to win, somebody's got <coughs> to lose. But on this spiritual race, this journey that we're on, this is a race that we can all win. Jesus, amen, said and prayed to God the Father that, amen, I pray that none be lost. And if none be lost, we can all win. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him. And since we are all whosoever's on this journey, amen, we all can win. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. This is a race that we're in, a spiritual race. And this race is not based on how fast you are. 
nor how strong you are. For the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. You can win this race because the race is given to the one that endure to the end shall be saved. You got to hang in there. Amen. You got to finish to the end. And if you hang in there and if you finish to the end, you can win this race. Amen. But, but preacher, I got so much coming against me. How can I win this race? Amen. In spite of what's coming against you, Jesus, amen, way before you went through what you're going through, way before, amen, you, amen, had the situation come in your life, Jesus had already, amen, declared that upon this rock will I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Jesus, amen, had already prepared, amen, the situation for the race. He knew, amen, that the thief was coming. Amen. And he knew that the thief come to steal, to kill, and destroy. And you can't win a race, amen, when the thief is stealing from you and killing you and destroying you. Jesus, amen, said, yes, you can win the race because I am come that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. I'm talking about a race that we can all win. Amen, amen. The Bible, amen, doesn't say you won't go through things. Amen, but you can win the race. Uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, uh, but you can win the race because God delivered them out of them all. Uh, amen. Uh, well, amen, but what about what Job said, well, Pastor, that a man born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. Uh, how can I win the race with his few days and full of trouble? Uh, you can win the race because God is our refuge. Uh, amen. And that God is our strength. Uh, you can win the race because he is a very present help in trouble. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, we must understand. Amen. That amen. The Lord did not say people wouldn't form things against you. People would dig ditches for you. People will lie on you. People will ridicule you. Amen. Scandalize your name. Amen. He didn't say they wouldn't do it, but he declared in Isaiah 54, 17, there is no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. You can win the race. Good God Almighty, when you got Jesus on the inside, amen, you can win the race because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Uh, I'm talking about a race uh, that we can all win. Uh, God uh, has given us a race. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. Paul said, uh, looking at on the natural side of life, uh, on the natural side of life, uh, they which run in a race, uh, all of them run. Uh, was it Richard Petty? Bobby Allison, Davy Allison, hallelujah, all run in a race, but only one receiveth the prize, hallelujah. But Paul looked at it on the spiritual side, and he said, run, run, that you may obtain the prize, that you may win. If you want to win, you got to of get in the race. Uh, you got to stay in the race. Uh, even though uh, storms may come. 
Uh, situations are going to rise in your life, uh, but that's all right. Uh, you can win the race. Uh, what do I do, brother preacher? Uh, you count it all joy. Uh, yeah, uh, when you fall uh, in the divers' temptations, uh, knowing that the trying of your faith, uh, work of patience, uh, patience work experience, uh, experience work hope. Uh, hope make not a shame uh, because of love love of God uh, is shed abroad uh, in our hearts uh, by the Holy Ghost. Uh, when the Holy Ghost uh, is on the inside, uh, you can win the race. Uh, yeah. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, can't you hear Jesus saying uh, on the last day, uh, the great day of the feast, uh, can't you hear Jesus uh, crying out uh, with a loud voice, uh, if anyone thirsts, uh, does anyone out there uh, want to win this race? Uh, does anyone out there uh, want the prize uh, of eternal life? Uh, do you want joy? Uh, unspeakable, uh, full of glory. Uh, do you want peace uh, that pass all understanding? Uh, what Jesus said, uh, believe uh, on me, uh, as the scriptures say, uh, and out of your belly uh, will flow rivers uh, of living water. He was talking about his spirit, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given. Amen. But he fixed it for his disciples to win the race. He told them, amen, amen, to go to Jerusalem. Uh, hallelujah. And stay there. Uh, till they be endued, till they be clothed, uh, amen, with power from on high. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, they asked Jesus a question and said, Lord, will thou at this time uh, restore the kingdom of God to Israel? Uh, but the answer was, that's not for you to know. Uh, for the time of the season that the Lord has uh, in his own hand. Uh, yeah, uh, but what you do need to know. In order to win the race, this is what I'm going to give you. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You shall have power, and you shall be witnesses unto me. Whereabout in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and the uttermost part of the earth, in other words, huh, everywhere you go, huh, you're in a race. Huh? If it's New York City, huh, you're in a race. Huh? If it's Los Angeles, California, huh, you're in a race. Huh? Yeah, huh? I stopped by huh? WOIL huh? TV 47, huh? located huh? in the Marble City huh? of Silicon, huh? Alabama, huh? to tell somebody that huh? This is a race uh, we can all win, uh, regardless of what comes uh, or what may go. Uh, the Bible said uh, he causes us uh, to always uh, try up. Uh, we're winners. Uh, we're winners. Uh, regardless of what uh, the devil is doing, uh, we're winners. Uh, we're more than conquerors. Uh, through him uh, that loved us, uh, regardless uh, of the tears you shed, uh, they that sow in tears uh, shall reap in joy. Uh, we're going to win this race, uh, weep in May, uh, in due for night, uh, but joy, uh, but joy, uh, but joy uh, is coming uh, in the morning. Uh, I encourage you today, uh, hallelujah, uh, when there's no one around. Uh, to encourage you, uh, be like David, uh, encourage uh, yourself, uh, tell yourself, uh, I'm going to make it, uh, tell yourself, uh, I uh, am fearfully uh, and wonderfully made, uh, tell yourself, uh, I'm his people, uh, the sheep of his pasture, uh, 
tell yourself, nah, by the grace of God, ha, I am ha, what I am, ha, and I'm in a race ha, that I can win. Ha, good God Almighty, ha, yeah, ha, hold on ha, through the tears, ha, weeping may ha, and do for a night, ha, but joy, ha, but joy, ha, but joy ha, is coming in the morning. Ha, yeah, ha, Paul said, ha, I run ha, not as one ha, with uncertainty. Ha, I see the mark. Ha, I see the prize. Ha, and I'm pressing ha, toward the mark ha, for the high calling ha, of God, ha, which is in Christ Jesus. Ha, so fight I, ha, not as one ha, that be there. Ha, but I'm like Mike Tyson. Ha, I see my target ha, and I'm going to win. Ha, yeah, ha, sometimes ha, you got to give your situation ha, an uppercut ha, and say, get behind me. Ha, yeah, ha, I'm a winner. Ha, I'm a winner. Ha, yes, sir. Ha, you got to fight ha, the good fight of faith ha, and lay hold ha, to eternal life. Ha, you a winner. Ha, yeah, ha, but I have to go through so much. Ha, what do I do? Ha, Paul said, ha, endure heartless ha, as a good soldier ha, of Jesus Christ. Ha, but whatever you do, ha, keep going. Ha, if you can't run, ha, walk. Ha, if you can't walk, ha, crawl. Ha, but by all means, ha, keep going. Ha, keep going. Ha, be steadfast, ha, unmovable, ha, always abounding ha, in the work of the Lord. Ha, you can win this race ha, for as much as you know ha, that your labor, ha, your running, ha, your sacrificing, ha, your praying, ha, your fasting ha, is not in vain. Ha, in the Lord, ha, this is a race ha, you're going to win. Ha, yeah, ha, the devil is trying ha, to keep you upset ha, because your child ha, is going wayward. Ha, yeah. But I want to tell you, you're going to win this race. God said, I will bless the fruit of your womb. God said, yeah, good God Almighty, cast all your cares upon him. For he cares for you. A race that we all can win. God bless you.